shrewd, they're cynical, and we want to build, um, but also highly capable. So we're putting together a project delivery board. We have the chair, Murray Strong, who is incredibly good with a great reputation. In fact, he chaired the project delivery or steering group for um, the Metro bus interchange, which was on time and on budget. So putting together the independence and as a fully independent board, I've been on the selection panel for that and have sat through countless interviews, but we're ready to get that signed off and announced um, this week. That's awesome. So, so that's really positive. Uh, can't happen soon enough as far as I'm concerned. It should have been done by now, but it's not, so I'm not going to sit here and moan about what hasn't happened. We have got a really exciting opportunity in front of us, and it is happening. So that closed roof multi-use arena in the heart of Christchurch is going to be one of the final pieces of the puzzle. And by then we'll be out of lockdown, so we'll be able to use it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the the main takeaway for property investors listening to the show or potential yes. property investors is that council can do big things, but very, very slowly in some cases. Mm-hmm. And if that multi-use arena it is built or when it gets built, that is going to potentially have a major impact on all of the properties around there. They can become Without Airbnbs if they are zoned correctly. Um, they'll be able to potentially increase their rents. There'll be a lot of workers coming into the city, which is going to, again, these people are going to need somewhere to live while they're here, going to increase rents, going to have a major impact on capital growth because we're yep. not just going to have a big empty plot in the middle of Christchurch. Right. It'll actually be used. Absolutely. And, and so monitoring these and being aware of them is very important. But as a property investor, you've also got to sort out, well, what is the noise, mm-hmm. you know, and what's actually going to happen. I think that's where digging into it and doing a bit more due diligence is probably necessary for a lot of property yeah. investors. 